Okay, welcome to the Crow Discovery Project. I spent the majority of yesterday filming the partial solar eclipse. Um, I had to use my old system for two reasons, because I still have yet to replace um, the failed scopes with the new one, which that will be coming before long. But I also have a homemade system, which I'll, I'll show you part of it here, for doing solar filming. Um, the green is the, it shows the HD monitor so I can get a focus and a good view. The yellow is a camera setting. You can see a tent above me to block all the sunlight out so you can focus because it's a very difficult thing to do in the daytime. Now I have this like tinfoil looking film stuff that I made a solar filter out of and Croet made one for me for the telephoto. Here's the problem. When the wind blows and it gets ripply, this is what it does to the light and it becomes very difficult to deal with. It works, but I mean, this is what you're up against. So I'll walk you through how this went. As I started, um, I was able to shield the, you know, the wind off our make makeshift solar filter, and um, we got this. But as you can tell, the the focus could be a lot better, and it's looking very washed out. So I began to dial in the camera settings, which I've never used for this application. And as I began to do that, things got better and better. And uh, I was pretty happy with what we got, considering our solar filter is pretty cheapy. So finally, we got this, which that's pretty cool. You can see the uh, the massive sunspot, and uh, you get a little shadowing near the edges of the disk. So it was working out pretty well. Um, as the day went on, I I was losing my view with the telescope. So I got about half with the telescope, and then I had to break down, set up the telephoto, change positions and get the other half with the telephoto lens. So what I'm going to do is um, run a time lapse of the telescopic footage and then finish out the ending of the clips with the telephoto footage. So it was a pretty cool event and um, it's a shame they have to do their false flag attacks in conjunction with things like this. And I guess I won't say more about that. There's plenty of people covering it more in depth than I will here. But anyhow, let's take a look at the time lapse. It should be pretty cool. Okay, so this is the footage that I took through the 8-inch telescope with just a homemade solar filter on it. Um, it's at 7,000% speed. I apologize for the jerkiness, but um, unless you are perfectly tracked and never adjust uh, the view, you're going to get a little bit of this. You would have to be just dead on to speed up to 7,000%. Um, what you see is the moon coming in in the upper right, and it's going to skirt down to that little sunspot just below the moon, and then it's actually going to arc up and go across. Now, you'll notice as this footage goes in right there, um, I begin to catch on that I can adjust the, the new camera better, um, which, you know, this is new to me because you're getting so much more light when you do this than you do uh, filming at night. But as I began to adjust the f-stop and aperture and all these things, um, I was actually getting a decent picture considering that this is all homemade stuff. Um, now, when the replacement scope comes for the third time, and I'm going a totally different way here, um, the solar viewing may get quite a bit better than this. We'll just have to see. Um, at the very least, I suppose this homemade system would always suffice in a pinch. But what I'm going to do here is we're almost halfway through, and my view was about to get blocked, so I switched over to the telephoto. And we're going to watch the last portion of this in about, I don't know, 30 seconds or something. It's really going to move. And I did it differently uh, with this one. I did fade through, so I run about five seconds of video from each clip and then fade it through to the next. And here we come, almost done. And that is it, the partial solar eclipse. Anyhow, in closing, um, I have some news. People have been reporting that people around the world have been spotting objects by the sun, and the Planet X people and the Nibiru people are uh, going crazy over this. But there's more to it than that. I've been getting a lot of reports that chemtrailing has been blocking the view of the rising and setting sun. I'd be interested to hear if this is the case in your area. Um, I have first-hand accounts from people that I trust that say they haven't seen a sunrise or a sunset without chemtrails for almost as long as they can remember. So, yeah. 
And in closing, update on the crows and the parrots. The crows took over the pecan tree the other day during the eclipse, and I think it's theirs for the rest of the uh, season because it's getting pretty cool at night and the parrots don't seem to be coming back anymore. So there it is. Partial solar eclipse. Cheers.